Okay, so more of the rational exponent review. This is a letter I, and they just want you to write, I think, the directions again just to review. Rewrite using rational exponents and simplify as possible. So we want to write this in fractional exponents, so letter I is the square root of x, and we know the square root of x is just x to the one-half power. Letter J, the fourth root of x squared. So remember, this is going to be the numerator, and that's going to be the denominator, so this is going to be the x to the 2 over 4. Remember our rules. And then we can reduce that to x to the 1 half. And letter K, the cube root of 27 squared. So again, this would be the denominator and this would be the numerator, so that would be 27 to the 2 thirds. All right? And it says simplify as if possible, so we could simplify this. Okay, 27 to the, this is the power, and this is the root, power over root. Okay. And we could write this as 27 to the one-third power squared. That's the same thing as two-thirds, root first. And what's the cube root of 27? Well, that's 3, and what's 3 squared? That's 9. Okay, and letter L. The cube root of 5 squared. So again, our power goes in the numerator, so it would be 5 So the power goes in the numerator and the root goes in the denominator, so it would be 5 to the 1 third power. And I, could, I could write it like this actually, 5 to the 1 third squared. Now, we really couldn't simplify that, so if we write this as a fraction exponent, this would be the same thing as 5 to the 2 thirds power. And there's not much we could do with that because we can't take the cube root of 5, so we could write it like that as a rational exponent.